Hey, what's up, guys? Your second favorite PE teacher, Denver, and Jake Paul stole my content and then copyright claimed me. Some of you guys who follow me on Twitter, Instagram, you already know some of this. I don't mean to, like, beat a dead horse. I never meant to make this a big deal. And any of you guys who know me know I don't ever like to, like, create controversy. I especially don't want to try to benefit from it. But it did blow up on Twitter a few days ago. Keemstar put it in his drama alert video. And, well, apparently Jake Paul stole his Fortnite footage put it in his video, and then filed a copyright strike on him. That Denver guy is a cool dude. Remove that copyright strike immediately. Anyways, a lot of you guys wanted to hear what's going on, so I figured I'll tell you uh, my side of it and what I plan to do about it. Um, I tweeted this out a few days ago. I said, when Jake Paul steals your content, puts it in his video, so you pull up the content he stole on your stream, and then your stream gets copyright claimed by him for looking at your own content that he stole. It was like super late when I wrote it. I wasn't even mad or anything. Then I woke up and it already had a few hundred likes on Twitter, which you guys probably know. You don't see that many likes on a tweet unless you're like Ninja or Tifu or something. Definitely not from me. Anyways, people started getting like mad and commenting about how like messed up it was. They were like adding Jake Paul. They were saying some like probably like not so nice things. Um, they were also adding Team YouTube about like the broken copyright system. And then a ton of people started adding PewDiePie and Keemstar who makes drama alert. Anyway, here is like the small part of my video that Jake Paul stole content from. Just a few more people. Still a lot of people who have no idea this one. Even. Like I don't even know why he took it. It's like a couple minutes into my video. It's literally just me landing, gliding down on my umbrella. Like right after I started playing Fortnite a year ago. And what's crazy is Jake Paul didn't even like zoom in a little bit, maybe like, you know, just cut my name out or something. He just left my name up there. So whether him or his editor or whoever made it, they could have just recorded themselves dropping one time. It would have taken them two minutes. For some reason though, they used my clip and a bunch of people popped on my stream when the video came out and they were like, Jake Paul took your video. You were in a Jake Paul video, like all this stuff spam in the chat. So I thought they were like trolling at first. So my mods started timing them out. And then I was like, wait, let me check this out and see. Oh wait, what? Whoa, no, 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 no. What is this dude? That is me, dude. Look, that Denver guy YT, dude. This is me in a Jake Paul video. What is this? Oh, that was my that was my chess video. That's him right there. And this is me. So I pulled it up and they were right. And anyway, the video has like eight and a half million views on it right now. Like today when I'm making this video for you guys. Um, I want to show you guys right now what his video looked like and like what he stole uh, from my video. But then this video will get copyright claimed. Stupid, right? And it's my own content. But here's what it looks like on his video. And you can even go check it out if you still want because it's still up there. So anyways, like I said, it wasn't a big deal um, when it happened because I was just like, I'm going to be the coolest teacher ever when I tell my students that I'm in a Jake Paul video. But then all of a sudden I came across a claim on one of my videos. And which video is it? My stream where I pulled up Jake Paul stealing my stuff. He actually claimed my video. I don't know if he did it like personally himself, probably just his MCN or whatever. It does like an auto scan. It like detected that his video is used somewhere else. But I actually got claimed by pulling up my own content on my stream and I got claimed. So tell me what to do guys. Am I mean for putting a copyright claim on his video where he stole my content? Not even a lot of content. Do I like, do I monetize the video to me? Because that's seriously like thousands of dollars for over 8 million views. But it, I mean, I'm, I'm just a teacher. If I cared that much about money, I would have, I wouldn't have done teaching in the first place. And I definitely would have quit by now just to do YouTube. But uh, money is not my focus on this. Um, obviously I wouldn't complain about like thousands of dollars but plus it's only like 10 seconds of my stuff that he stole from me but yeah it's at the very beginning of the video and he didn't ask permission to use it if any other youtubers out there do that they'll almost always get copyright claim they'll lose all the money for a video they put a ton of time into or they might even get a copyright strike on their channel and after three the whole channel just gets deleted sometimes you don't even get three strikes like your channel just gets deleted so do you guys think i should claim it to like have it removed do I monetize it so all the money comes to me? 
Or do you guys think I should just like not worry about this and just let it go? But honestly, if I do that, will Jake Paul just keep taking people's content and putting it in his video without even asking permission? And honestly, it isn't a bad video about Fortnite. It was actually pretty funny, but he, he, you know, he did put a lot of time into it. So honestly, I think I would feel kind of bad if I claimed it, but I know on Twitter, a lot of you guys kept saying uh, that I should. If it was like half the video or something, that's like an automatic yes for me. I totally would have claimed this already, but this was only like 10 or 20 seconds of me gliding down on my umbrella from an old video of mine. Honestly, I'm like, I'm kind of scared to claim it. I, I don't know. I mean, I don't know if that's bad to say. There's just so many like Jake Paul fans out there. If they start coming to my videos, disliking my videos, like coming to my streams and trolling me and all that just because they're mad. Um, it could like, it could really hurt the channel, but I don't know. Maybe I'm just overthinking it. Anyway, Keem is letting me show you guys uh, what he put on drama alert like two days ago. Uh, so check this out. Pretty cool, dude. His name is that Denver guy. He's actually a physical education teacher. And well, apparently Jake Paul stole his Fortnite footage, put it in his video, and then filed a copyright strike on him that denver guy tweeted out when jake paul steals your content and puts it in his video so you pull up the content he stole on your stream and then your stream gets copyright claimed by him for looking at your own content that he stole jake that denver guy is a cool dude remove that copyright strike immediately i mean i can't even imagine somebody steals your content and then you go and like make a video on it hey look he stole my content and then they put a copyright claim on that like what huge thank you to keem by the way for like bringing some attention to this trying to get team youtube to like solve this situation doesn't so it doesn't happen again like not just to me just to all youtubers that have to deal with this crap but for real like i didn't even like care about this i knew about this for a while um but it was just pretty messed up that my whole stream got claimed which means that jake paul is actually making money off of my video for me looking at my content that he stole. I mean, isn't that just, it's, I don't know, it seems kind of messed up to me. If that didn't happen though, if like my stream didn't get, get claimed or whatever, I probably wouldn't have even said anything. Honestly, this happened like a month or so ago uh, because I just really didn't think it was a big deal. But yesterday I sent an email to my YouTube partner to see what he thinks and like if it's worth looking into. Like I said, I'm not after the money. I would have claimed it a long time ago if I was, even though it's like probably in the thousands because he did put some work into that video. He only used like a small part of mine. But like, think about this. Like usually on like a good CPM, most YouTubers will get around $1,000 for a million views. Some might even get up to like $3,000 for, or, or, or even more than that for a million views. And some, I mean, even on the worst of days, most YouTubers, if they can get a million view video, they might even get anywhere from like three, four, five hundred dollars, which is actually like really low CPM. So for like eight million views, we're talking about like on the worst day, like three or four thousand dollars that he made just on this one video. Um, you guys might have seen my like Daquan, Tifu, uh, my Ninja videos, all those pro guide videos, and the Daquan and Tifu ones, they both got copyright claimed. And it was like, it was like all my teaching, it was all my editing, my manipulating of their content, but it was their content. So it got claimed. And now Tifu and Daquan, the, those two videos, they're at like a million views each, right? So even though due to fair use, where even if you take someone else's content, you can make it almost fully your own content. You can claim it as your own if, according to the fair use laws, it's transformative enough. So I like, I totally transform those videos. If you watch them, I mean, you can, you would probably agree with me. Those are definitely transformative, um, but they still got claimed. And without help, I would have lost thousands of dollars on these videos. But luckily, Daquan, Tifu, um, they gave me permission. But this clip that Jake Paul stole from me is just straight up. It's my video. It's got my name on it. And it's downloaded directly off my channel used by him without any of my knowledge or my permission. But like I said, I have no clue what to do. So I'll leave it up to you guys and my YouTube partner manager to decide if it's even worth it. Um, because like to be on the wrong side of the Jake Paul army probably isn't like the best idea. So let me know in the comments. Like I said, I don't want to benefit from this. I'm honestly not even wanting this video to be 10 minutes so I don't get up like a bunch of comments. I'll probably only ever make one more video on this, even if, like if I even do. Um, and it'll be telling you guys what happened. But yeah, I guess if you wanted to, you can follow me on Twitter. Um, I just started an Instagram too if you guys want like other updates. Mainly Twitter is what I use. I'll put a link in the description or something. Um, anyway, you guys have a good day and uh, hopefully we can get this all figured out. Love Denver.